All right, back to another Source SDK 101 video tutorial. And today we're going to talk about lighting. Now, lighting is extremely important for maps, and if you leave your map without lighting, no one will download it. No one will want to play it at all. So, you must have lighting in your map. Now, the most simple way to create a light is to take your entity tool, click anywhere, double click on it with the selection tool, and type in light. Now, you just have a basic light here, and it looks like a light bulb, but that's not how it appears in game. In game, it will just be light coming out of an invisible object right here. So this box will be light coming out of here. Now there are tons of things you can change. Brightness, it's, this is the color. This is your color. Right now it's all white. You never want to leave a, a light all white. You want to make it like an orangish or a, you know, a yellow or something. You always want to leave it like that. And this last number here, 200, is the brightness of it. So, zero would be gone completely, 10 would be extremely dim, and 200 is basically the normal brightness, but you can make it like 50 or 100 or something, and it'll look pretty nice, more like a dim kind of thing. Brightness HDR you don't want to touch, scale HDR you don't want to touch, appearance you can mess with this. Right now normal, it will just be a normal solid light. You can make it a fluorescent flicker, where it will flicker every once in a while, and you know strobe lights. You can do m most like a ton of things, but you normally want to make leave it on normal. Custom appearance, you really shouldn't be messing with this. Most of this you really shouldn't touch until you're a little more, you know, in you're more advanced in lighting. But you know there are descriptions of everything, or most of everything, so you can read those you want. Flags are, there's only one, initially dark, you can tick that if you want to be um, triggered by an input, which I'll still, I'll go over in a later date. But you want to leave that off if you want the light to be on, so just hit apply, cancel, and there's your light. And you can put this anywhere you want in your map, but you don't really, you don't usually want to put it on the ground. But now, if I compiled this map and loaded it up and all that, there would be light coming out of here. So now I'm going to teach you about the light environment, which is what makes your map actually look like it's outside. So you search for light and um, actually it's, yeah, there it was. It was there. Light environment, apply, and now this is, it'll look like a sun. So and it'll say light environment or light env underneath it and um, what you're going to want to do is you will take this light put it where you want it to go you want to put it up high somewhere so I'm going to want my light to come from this corner now what I'm going to do is go to pitch yaw roll and do point at now angle my camera and I'm going to point at where I want my light to go so if I want the sunlight to come from here to go over this way and light up this whole area I will point there and the brightness is the same you never want to leave it just stock you want to make it like an orange yellow and even like a blue if you're kind of looking for some alien planet kind of thing or maybe moonlight you could make it blue you know change color and correspondence with what you pick and all that ambient that's another color you want to mess with you can uh, make it like if you wanted a sunset you could do like a purple orange and it looks that's what I have now and it'll look pretty nice like a sunset thing again don't touch with the HDR or the ambient HDR sun spread angle um, you don't have to really touch this a lot but you know it's you can it's for uh, shadows and things there are no flags it's really easy you just do the pitch y'all roll the brightness the ambient and you should be able to hit apply and cancel and you're done and now when you compile your map you'll have um, sun it'll be like sun coming down onto this area here it will light up your whole map and then you'll have a orange light coming and lighting up these uh, this little area with the barrels and I can go over like spotlights at um, another tutorial again 
but I won't go much into that now. This is just basic lighting. So, there you go. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and do anything. You know, anything with the video. Stuff like that. And please do not forget to subscribe for more Hammer Tutorials. Thank you for watching.